Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What Horse. What yes, are you sir. smiling about? I'm just glad just to be here. <laughs> glad to be here. <laughs> We're going horse showing this weekend, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's going. It's going to be. Uh, going to be good. We we got several announcements we're going to make, but I'm going to let you do what you do before I do anything. How's that? We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. And welcome back. All right, Jerry, we're going to go to this weekend. We got the Celebration Fall Classic. Yes, sir. You remember it replaced the Tunica show years ago. Yep. It's going to be November 3rd through the 5th. Contact the Celebration, 931-684-5915. Showtime each night. Now, this is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, starting tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Judges Jennifer Bingham, Robert Cortner, and David Sisk. And then we're going back to Tunica. This time it's going to be November 10th, 11th, and 12th, and it's called United Walking Horse Finale. It's going to be it's going to be really be something. Yes, Contact D Cantrell 706-366-1011. Tom Mink 615-426-6911. Or Sarah Smith, 931-580-5085. And you can call Margo Urad, 972-772-1390. Showtime each night is 6 p.m. Jamie Hankin, Newton Parks, and Aaron Self will mark the I think I got all that in. Yeah. It's you good. done a good job on that right there. Run, run out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it, it is going to be good. But yeah. We, we got a lot of, one thing to remind everybody, we've got two shows for you to get your Christmas present. And that's, the, I'm talking about jewelry. Yes. We got a lot of jewelry left. Contact me. We're going to get her done this year. I keep looking at one item on there that I might end up buying. I, I keep trying to talk myself out of it. But uh, 
if I don't sell it, I might end up with it. <laughs> I don't know. I really appreciate you buying that for me, Jerry. No, I, I figured I, you I, would. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you, you, I may start the layaway plan, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Do something. I'll tell you what, though, it, we got a few items left. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're raising funds right now for uh, the legal battle. Yes. I'm going to show a quick video. And you know as well as I do, the way that the Horse Protection Act is written, they just use it against the Tennessee walking horse. But when the way they've got this now, it covers every breed that has a weighted shoe. Yes, sir. A pad. It covers every, like, like this horse right here. Now, here's an example. Now, that horse is not born doing that. They have to train him teach him, work with him. He's, to me, that's trotting. Yes. Up front, a little he bit racking. Some, he have some kind of weighted shoe on to make it. him step like that. That's it. So what I'm saying is they can sit back and they can say, well, that's them. And they're right, they're, they're after us. Yes. But we're a domino. I truly believe that. You're exactly right on that. And uh, if you think they're not coming after you, you just got to wonder after us who's next. So I advise everybody to jump in and help us in our battle. Yeah. And uh, I, th I think we talked about this. Did you see the list of stuff that's in this package that they're going to be raffling off? Yes, there's a lot of stuff in there. A lot Sarah stuff. Smith, I'm going to be calling you, lady, because I want some of them tickets. They got every, they got uh, money uh, gift certificates, fifty dollar gift certificates, two hundred. They got trips to. They got wine. They got weekend getaways uh, and stuff we, like that. Yeah. I mean, it all of it's in that one package. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, they're going to have the drawing in Tunica. That's a perfect place to have yeah. it. Everybody mm -hmm. down there gambling, losing every dime they got. <laughs> And they and they gonna do. If I was to win it, I might turn around, and have to sell it to get back home. <laughs> you know, the guy said one time he went to Las Vegas. Said he drove a thirty thousand dollar car out there. Mm -hmm. When he come back, it was two hundred fifty thousand dollar vehicle. He came back in, but it was a Greyhound bus. <laughs> he lost his car. Yeah. And I've I've got an apology to do. Reese Witherspoon. Oh, we, Reese Witherspoon. I'm thinking movies now. Yeah. Reese Abernathy, I owe you an apology, young lady, because there was a woman I ran into her, and she said, that young girl that was shoeing that horse, does she get to ride? I said, ma'am, that girl rides all the time. She said, well, I was wondering, they had her shoeing that horse. Evidently, they think we just make our kids work all the time. Yeah. But she does this because she loved it. She told us that she'd come to your barn shoe, didn't she? Mm-hmm. You're right. Did she ever tell you what she's going to charge you? <laughs> no, she never did tell me. <laughs> well, I she, see it'd be pretty high. <laughs> I, I, well, she she was going to go get her daddy. Yeah. Uh, so if, if she's going to do it, he, he may charge us double. You yeah, that's tell. about right. But right here she is. And this was in the Alabama Jubilee. Reese Abernathy won her class, and she did a great job of it. So, yes, ma'am, Reese Abernathy can surely ride, and she can ride with the best of them. Yes, she does a good job. I but believe she, she can outride her daddy. Her whole family rides, so, I mean, she she's born to ride. <laughs> That's it. She's born riding. She's born riding. Born riding and shoeing. <laughs> riding and shoeing. I tell you what, she, she's a mess now. Yep. She, uh, but I, I wanted to tell her I was sorry that we should have put that on there and let people know that she just didn't shoe horses. She, yes. she, could, mm -hmm. she could ride a horse, too. You know, we got a, some, some of the things we got coming up, Jerry. Why don't you tell, tell everybody some of the things that you looked at, like what we talked about a few minutes ago. That's a good idea. Well, it's just doing different things, you know, to help raise money and stuff like that, to have some kind of benefit, you know, I'll even thinking about having some kind of team pinning or whatever with Tennessee walking horses and show people how versatile this horse is. And you can do anything you want to with this horse. I mean, they can go out and cut cows out or do whatever and just have 
is having fun with them because they're a real fun type horse. Well, it, you're right, too. Now, yeah. I went over to the sport horse, and, uh, I mean, it, it, it was really, I mean, it was something because we watched them cut cows. We watched them jump. We, and, and some of those were walking horses, so I, I think I think your idea would, number one, it'd be exciting. Yeah, it'd be exciting to Just, see different people have never experienced that before, but do it on a horse that they love to ride. Right. So I'm, I'm all for it, and I believe we ought to do it. I, I so think so. I wish it, Everybody you know, hear that? Go out and train your walking horse to pen cattle, yeah. and we'll have some competition. Let's go to Alabama and look at some victory passes. You know, it's a shame that that's the end, but we're we're doing putting we're going to put together a documentary to remember that show down there. It's going to be full of victory passes for several years. Right there is your amateur 15, two and under winner, former line and Carol Baxter. Significant thing about this, Jerry, they come back and won the open competition with Josh. So. That, that right there is just says a lot about our horse. Oh, you, you exactly right. Show one night, come back the next night, and show again. And Carol's one fine lady. Yes, yeah, she is. Real and here's lady. Beth Beasley in quite an honor. Your amateur four-year-old Marion Gildon winner. Beth does a good job on the horses too. She's. Tell you what, she really liked it. Her and both her daughters won. Yes. And that, to me, that that really told the story of the Alabama Jubilee. Yep. It really did. Right there is Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell. I, I really like that horse. Yes. Did you see where they stuck a big K on Dan's truck? <laughs> Said he turned, to, went to Kentucky. I told him somebody's in trouble. I, I don't know who did it. <laughs> Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell for Georgia and Kim Lewis. Right there, Dark Rain and Taylor Walters. I don't care what they say. I really like that I like horse. that horse. I do. I do, too. I really enjoy watching him. Taylor's a good rider, too, yeah. now. She really is. She can... She knows how to handle the horse. Eggerman do a real good job with that horse. Oh, I tell you what, he's a good trainer. Yeah, he, now does, he really he is. He does a real good job with him. You know, to keep that horse that consistent week after week, you oh, know, yeah. that's a good job. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna make a prediction. This horse right here, they're gonna stake him for it's over with. El Hombre in yeah. black. I've watched him, and that horse, that horse is good. I talked to Jimmy about it. Jimmy said he's got a ton of talent. Jimmy have done a lot with this horse here. You know, this is really his first show season with this horse, right. putting him in the show ring. So, I mean, a good winner. Well, and he ain't had him that long That's either. what I'm saying. A good winner with this horse, you'll see a big difference. And there's Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. You know, everybody wanted to call that horse. And she just did, she put him out in the pasture, put her out in the pasture. They was talking about breeding and all this. But then she decided to bring him back. And uh, she put her with Mr. Beatty, and he, he has his number, buddy. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy for Beth, because she, she deserves a good horse. Right there is Miss Dixie Carter. This is another that's, nice one. Hey, that's a good mare right there. Seems like they got several good mares. Yes. And that one's just going to get better. Yep. I like a horse to start off. Little swing and the longer he goes, he keeps getting bigger and bigger. bigger. Building. And building, building all the time. Well, this one right here come in strutting and left strutting. Yeah. An honor son with Taylor Walters in the saddle. Jake's little alley Joe was feeling bad, so he stayed home with her. And uh, Taylor said, I'll take the reins. Mm -hmm. Jake knew she was a good rider. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right here is I'm Big Enough and Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley, youth pony winner. 
you know, that was a good good class. Cause was Champ good class. was reserved behind her. Them girls can ride those. Yes. Girls. Now they really can. They can get the job done. Well, they started, you know, way back in the lead line and I stuff know. like that, and then that just kind of helped them. They just keep, keep growing and growing. With and they got good posture on that horse too. They, they do. Up. They really do. And here's Josh on former line, Josh Watts. Now, to me, that that's a sign of a great horse when you can show it back to back yeah. nights, yeah. two different divisions, and him come out performing like that. You know, Carol's dad used to ride horses. Used to show horses. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back in the days. Well, I met her last year, I believe it was, and uh, she, she she's a super nice lady. Right there is Jose's full throttle and Lisa Hinfinger. Now she's a nurse. Yeah. She she was going she was going to work for me during the celebration this year. She said she'd love to try that, and they took all of her hours and, and she had to be a nurse. Mm. She didn't get no time off. But I tell you what, that's another they, good nice family right there. Oh Lord, yeah. Wayne. Putman, yeah. mm -hmm. you, you can't beat him. He's a good guy. Since they put that horse down to part performance, he found his home because he, yes. he just, he's good. Plain and simple. And there's one that just keeps keeps on keeping on. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley. That little gal can flat ride that yes. horse. I believe they was made for each other. What do you think? I believe so. That's a nice horse. That horse has been good for a while. Getting her done. And right here, walking Mr. Charlie and Sam Martin for Terry and Lisa Smith. That tells the story right oh, yeah. there. Mm -hmm. That tells the story. You know the difference in between you can see them horses. You can see them horses going in that ring and they going, they look good. But once something about when you put that ribbon up on the side of the head, they just feel like, hey, here I am. I'm gonna show I won this class and I'm gonna show you I can do a lot more. I've had people tell me in the past that when they go into the celebration, you, you can kind of with that noise and everything, you kind of feel the horse swell up a little yeah. bit, especially your aged horses. Oh, yeah. The ones that have been, been there. there. Yes. They've experienced that excitement. Mm -hmm. And that, I mean, horses, they, uh, well, it's like sci-fi. I mean, he, people may not think horses have a brain, but I've got news for you. They oh, yeah, really they do. They, they do. really do. We're going to go to the 2021 Fall Classic and show some. I want to bring back some of the past for everybody. And, and now here's Born a Maverick. I want everybody to remember yes. this. It's Born a Maverick. We're going to see if Bob and Born a Maverick come back again this year. Yes. For the, for the classic. It's going to be, what's going to be fun is to see how many show in the Calsonic that show up in Tunica. Yes. That horse right there, I believe you show him every night. He That's just a nice got what horse. it That's takes. A nice horse. Here's Switchblade. LaRue and Ann McWaters. You know, Ann was sick for a while. Yes. I reckon she's okay now. Three-year-old stallion for last year. Now we'll probably see him either here or in Tunica in the four-year-old class. Right there is a King Thane and Bob Adcock and Ashley Young. Now they did the amateur amateur. They was reserved, but. They still outstanding. Yes. There's J. 
Jake, that's three-year-old stallion. Now that's before RM took over. Yes. <laughs> Hey, what now? That's a good horse. Oh, yeah, it was a nice horse. I don't much think we'll see that one. Mm -hmm. We may, but I don't think so. Jake said they couldn't decide whether to stake him or what to do, really. Here's Mr. For Real and Paul Simmons. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Now, he put on a show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. He was a fan favorite, too. Made a great show. I'm betting we'll see him. Oh, yeah, I'll say you will. Well, he ain't going to be easy to beat. I can no. tell you that. He, he got him in North Carolina. Here's Dark Rain and Tyler Walters, your amateur pony. You look at this video and look. Hey. Still going. That's what I'm saying. That was a nice horse. A kingpin and Bob Badcock, your amateur pony winner. That's a real nice horse too. Oh yeah. Bob Bob got a good Bob good, got good string of horses. He does now. Real good string of horses. When he shows up, he shows up to, yeah. to ride. Like they say, he shows up and shows out. That's it, shows up and shows out. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him you said that. <laughs> shows up and shows out. And hey, I could talk forever and a day and I'm just, <laughs> he told me that I needed to find something new to say. <laughs> and it's, I mean, that, what what can you find that's new to say about this horse? Right, that horse there, it, it it's wins all the time. Hey, just gets it done. Gets it done. She's limitless and Taylor Walters. Now here's Am Am specialty. Grand champion now yep. with Molly. And here is me and Pocahontas Tyler Malcolm for Allison Armstrong. We'll probably see that one. Oh, yeah. I don't know who will be riding. Cause that's one thing about Allison. She is not stingy with her horses. Jacobs. I bet money we see I them. see you see that, yep. We'll see her this weekend or next weekend one, and we may see her both weekends. So Jake said she's back in school. So yeah. if she's back in school, she's, she's back, back riding, riding horse. horse. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, she's a great spokesman for this industry. Oh, yes, she is that. Set up on that big old horse and let her go. I bet you old Jake, he runs around that ring. I know his heart beating 90 miles yeah. a minute when he's watching her. It ain't no other feeling watching your kids show. I uh, know. Here's I am big enough and Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley, your youth pony winner. Now, I want people to notice, now this was last year. Yes. That horse showed all this year. Yes. A great horse. There's Mark One and Jimmy McConnell from Molly Walters. I would say you probably see him. Yep. At one of them, it's yep. either here or in Tunica One. 
And now that's a good steak horse. Oh, yeah. There is fact, a good steak I, horse. I thought that he had done one at once. Yes. Because that's the one that I picked. He is a piece of work, buddy. Then again, Molly can ride. Yeah, you are right. So they may look up and see her in that canter class mm -hmm. on him. Or Taylor. Yeah. Because Taylor likes that canter class. I think we're I think you gotta do what you do now. We'll be right back <laughs> after these messages. <laughs> Did you get a call or message that mentioned Social Security that made you feel threatened or scared? That is not the Social Security Administration. Social Security will not threaten you, press you for personal information, or demand instant payment. Social Security does not accept payments by gift card, prepaid debit card, internet currency, or by mail and cash. Criminals use these forms of payment because they are hard to trace. Don't fall for it. Hang up, ignore them. Report this criminal activity to oig.ssa.gov. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. I don't know who to believe. Me neither. Like, what does transgender mean? And defund the police? What do people mean by me too? Why do people keep saying fake news? My sister and parents kept fighting about that stuff, and now they don't even talk to each other. Hey, go to informyourcommunity.org and get the facts, and have fun while you're at it. Informyourcommunity.org? Yes, and this message is sponsored by Inform Your Community, a nonpartisan nonprofit. Get the facts and have fun at free virtual events. Warning, side effects may include laughing, learning, socializing, friends and family that talk to each other. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, we're back and we've got more victory passes from the past. Yep. I'm going to tell you, we have had some great shows in the past. Some of them down in Tunica. I, I mean, I really, really like the ones in Tunica. Oh, yeah. Because that, that that thing started back, I think it was 2013, wasn't the first year? I was think that so, the yeah. first year? Mm -hmm. And it just, you know, people seem to just have a fantastic time yeah. there. And this have look at there, Noah Botch and Tammy Jones. But now this one was when we called called it the the Tunica Fall Classic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was at the Calsani. That's when they decided to put the rings down size of the yes. ring. There's Manning and Jimmy McCall. For Kelsey Andrews, Marin Gildan winner. Strange how we will bend over backwards to make one location look like another. Another location, yeah. Like right. the first time I'd seen them take the ring and put it inside the arena was in Tunica. Yes. We come up here and do the same thing. And there's I Am You Know and Jake Jacob. Now, now he was five-year-old champion, uh, stallion then. Now, he's down to part performance. Yeah. And, and looking great. Yes. Bachelor and Ray Shoemate Tyser. And she, she is going to be a mother. Yep. I bet you Sandy's tickled to death. Oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> Bill K. 
Callaway for Ron Lawrence. 15 2 and under winner. Yeah. I tell you what, that, that horse, he looks just like Ted. Yeah. Uh huh. It's under saddle or in the harness, makes no difference. Great horse. That is a real nice horse. Is he still the stud? Yeah. It wouldn't surprise to see him in there then. And right there she is, one of my favorite flat shot riders. She has to be. Oh, yeah. Kimberly Walden, Habanero Picante. That's a nice horse. Yes, it is. Real nice. She is one that really loves this horse. Oh, yeah. Like Virginia Stewart, I've never seen someone with as many yard ornaments as she got yes. when it comes to horses. But now I tell you, this, this Virginia is a super lady. Here's Bailey Baum with, on Habanero Picante. Bailey does a good job on these horses, too. Oh, yeah. Bailey's a good rider. She is. She trains, she's a good trainer. She's a good cook, too. Yeah. I've seen some of her pastries she makes. Here's Honor's Salute and Carrie DeArmond, your amateur two-year-old stallion winner. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you what, that horse gets better and better yeah. and better. It's good to see these horses when they were like two years old, and now you see them as a three-year-old now. Well, that and some yeah. of them. Little Shady, Ray Shoemate Tyser. I tell you what, she's got good posture on her. Oh, yeah. You know who she reminds me of the way she sets the saddle? Tell think about it. I knew who taught her how to set the saddle who? like that. Her Tim mother? Gray. Tim and Gray. Her, and her mama. My mama said to Danny Fostick, she's yeah. sitting up there like that too. And she rode for so many years for Tim. And that was the biggest thing at Tim. You, he wanted you to sit up in that saddle when you rode at his barn. Sit up there and ride right. Yep. Here she's limitless. Now there's Molly. You can't leave her out of the picture alone. I was so happy for her this year at celebration. She won her, got her world grand championship with She's Limitless. And I know. I know what that meant to her. Oh, yeah, that's a nice mare. Oh, it's a great mare. There's Samsung and Bill Calloway for George Ann Pratt. George Ann was really great for this yes. industry. She was one fine lady. Broom Yoder. You ever watch that show, Longmire? Yeah. Pretty good. It is. He would shoot you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm dancing for a dollar. Now, right here is one. She was a four-year-old mare, reserve winner. Yeah. But now, that's a mare. Oh, yeah. Pretty mare, too. Those are some big classes oh, down yeah. there. I 
Am. Jerry Might, Jason Might. Am Am specialty. Yeah. Jason did a good job, but don't you look there. <laughs> Buddy, when, when Jerry took off out, he was hitting high dollar. Oh, yeah. He wouldn't let no grass grow on his feet, uh -uh. was he? <laughs> he was getting it. And there, there he is again. Kingpin, this time with Bill Calloway. I tell you what, I really appreciate Bob's support. We've got some good supporters of getting our horse out there in front of people. Yes. Bob's one of them, Molly Walters, Allison Armstrong. There, there's just a ton of them. Virginia Stewart, Beth Beasley. Yeah. I mean, I could I could sit here and name them all day long. The people that really support putting our horse out there in front of people. Oh yeah. Grooms and farrier winner. And here's a King Thane and Bob Adcock. <laughs> I've been a good horse. Yes, sir. And it just keeps getting better and better. You exactly right on that. Well, now, now we are really going to go to Tunica. It, this is this is back. I mean, we're not going back to the start of Tunica, but uh, we're going back to one of the last times it was in Tunica. Right there is GG's Majestic and LC Bradford. I tell you what, that horse has been around and it has flat won a lot. Uh, yeah. And I'm talking about English Western. It makes no difference. That is one good horse. That reminds me of Deal's Dancing Dollar, uh -huh. the way she's walking. There's Self Made Money and Jessica Leeback. Now that's Jessica Mass. Now see yeah. how long ago that was. was. That's right. This young lady done got married. Jack Perkle's owner of that horse. <laughs> Machete, Susan Coleman for Coleman and Dow. There's Uptight Jose and Robin McDonald. I remember the first time we sent a video down for um, STGN Extreme Sports. Uh -huh. The lady that runs it sent me a, a uh, email immediately about that she loved that Uptight Jose. <laughs> I can't wait for that show to come. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it now. They say on Saturday night on one of them tables, he's supposed to have a big steak dinner. Yeah, sure are. Right there, I am Mighty Jose and Charlie Green for Shane Porterfield, your 15 2 and under winner. Done there, Charlie. Yeah. 
right there is epic. We're going to see a yeah. lot of epic because that, that horse showed everywhere. Yeah. And we'll probably see epic this weekend or next weekend one, maybe both. Both. But now she's not Megan Davis anymore either. That's how far back these are. Oh, yeah. But they showed him with a brace. Yeah. That, that's right. That is right. That's going in with a brace right there. That isn't even a show pleasure no, class no. there. Right there's Georgia, Florida line, and Bruce McDonald. Oh, yep. Now, Robert Dorch. Uh-huh. You know, that's a, that horse is a whole lot bigger than I thought he oh, was. Oh, yeah. I didn't think he was that big until I got beside him. Shoot, that's a huge horse. and Molly Walters. This shows how long that horse has been a consistent yeah. winner, Win. buddy. Mm -hmm. Song, Bill Calloway. I wonder how old that horse is now. No. He may qualify classic now. I'm gonna look that up and see. Pretty close. Well, I tell you what, I always called him Mr. Automatic because mm -hmm. he always made a good show. Always. Right there's I'm moonlighting. That one just yeah. won again down mm -hmm. in the Jubilee. You know, over here at this Tunica show, you get a different crowd of people. You get people from down the south. Mississippi area, oh, yeah. Arkansas area, and Texas area. And it's always area. a bunch there. Yeah. I mean, you get a lot of people that come. That are new. That, there's GG's Majestic, William Bradford, Country Pleasure Amateur. That's the first time I saw Nance show was down there yeah. in, in Tunica. There's a lot of people. We went that little fun show. They had a lot of people was telling, we'll see you in Tunica, we're going to Tunica. <laughs> hey, a bunch of people are going down there. Tunica, them guys over that way is like they celebration. Oh yeah. Here you go, your amateur champion, Uptide Jose and Robin McDonald. Showed him his Robin, seeing Robin show him. Oh him. man, she, she loves to driver. ride. She loves to ride. She's a, her and Bruce are some super yeah, those people. Are two, two good people. They are. They've been real nice to me. Well, it, I'm gonna tell you, I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to this weekend. Yes, I But now, too. Tunica is going to be a good one. Tell you what, you gotta do your job one more time. We'll be right back after these messages. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. 
Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports, they even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, we're back and we're going we're going back to Tunica. Yes. Cuz I'm going to tell you now. I tell you what, I, I like it because as soon as, as the show's over with, everybody goes back to wherever. Like me, I go to Samstown. I love Samstown. And I know this year the Hollywood is where everybody will go, but I like the dealers. I just like the atmosphere and everything at Samstown because everybody seems to cut up and, you know, have a good time. But that's a lot of camaraderie there. Oh, yeah. I like all that stuff, but I'm going to tell you, I like the food down there. They got some <laughs> well, good it, spots it, down there to it, go it, and eat at. They have the, that, no blue top, that blue top. <laughs> yeah. Awful good. Awful fattening, too. Yeah, it I is. normally gain weight. Look here. Here comes back Samsung again. Yeah. Young trainers, 35 and under. Bill's married. Yes. I don't think he was married back then. Uh -huh. and this well, he he was... married a good one. Now, he married a fine young lady. Yes. Right there, sidelining Kendra Myers. Country Pleasure Amateur Reserve winner. Harold really liked that horse. Oh, yeah. Sure did. He really liked it. And a classic action in Sarah Coffee Burks. Now right there's a lady that can flat ride a horse. Oh yeah. Just gets on them and goes, buddy. She deserves a whole lot more than she gets. Yes. Now she does. And here we go. Up tight Jose and Bruce Mc. Now this is owner Bruce McDonald. I believe Robin owns that horse. Yeah. But both of them love the show. That's right. Now, Bruce's been showing him quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Right there, look at here. Lady Amateur, Cowboy Casanova, and Sarah Coffee Burke. I like that horse. Oh, I do too. Here's I'm pushing in line and Tim Smith for Joe Fostick. 15 2 and 0 open. That's a nice horse, too. Yes, it was. There's Mr. Heisman and Robin McDonald for Bruce and Robin McDonald. And 
after 50 and over. I love that horse right there. I mean, literally love it. Oh, that's a nice horse. Oh, it's been good for a long time. Tell you what, I'm enjoying it. looking back at these. Oh, yeah, these videos, I tell you, they, you forget. You now forget, you do. And you go seeing them, and I mean, it make you excited. It's like you, it was like last week that you're watching it. Yeah. The Royal Dollar. Show pleasure amateur winner. Now, Sarah had a show down there, didn't she? Yes. She got that one from uh, Jimmy McConnell, I believe. Georgia, Florida line, and Bruce McDonald. Now, they, here, yep. here's the deal. How often do you see these horses show? And it shows their longevity. Yeah. Shows how long they stay in the winter circle. circle. Yeah. And, and it just disproves everything that people outside this industry says. Oh, yeah. I mean, it does. Abused horses, you don't keep them that long. Right here was a great one, buddy. Mr. Trump and Taylor Walters for Kelsey Andrews. Well, the thing of it is you look back and you see these horses right here that's showing and getting these blue ribbons and stuff like that. This is about the only breed you know time after time these horses win over and over and over. Some of these horse breed of horses, they won and done. That's it. A yeah. lot of them are won and done. Yeah. A lot of them trip and fall into something and never go any further. That's right. But how many times have we showed this one right here in this show? And still showing. She's it. And she's still showing. Yeah. Wins the World Grand Championship this year. Yeah. The people say what they want to. The Tennessee walking horse is the most cared for horse. I mean, we have to watch that horse from head to the you, exactly bottom right. of his foot. The whole thing. We have to watch everything about him. And the least little thing can take them out of action. That's right. There's a classic action again. How many times have we showed him so far? Nick Price this time, but still stirring yep. off his horse. Yeah, I'd say these videos from back years past, that's something we need to do more yes. of during the winter, is show how many times they showed through the years. Look here, I'm Silver 2, Boston Kate Tillman. Well, she's a little bit bigger than that now. Yeah. Got that hat pulled down over her eye. <laughs> I like Boston Kate. Another thing people need to look, look at that big, big old horse. Now yeah, look at that him. little girl. And look at that little girl sitting on his back. Yeah. I think that right there, she was just turned six, I believe. She wasn't six, that old, yeah. she wasn't very old. Five or six. Right there is Dose, Patrick Thomas or Sherry Roberts. That horse is still showing. Yes. Mr. Trump, Clayton Davis for Kelsey Andrews, the open pony. That was a great horse. That was a great horse. First time I seen him was at uh, Everett's uh, barn party. Okay. 
Edgar's, Edgar's Barn Party. We're jamming the blues and John Allen Callaway for George Ann Pratt. That horse has moved on now to another oh, yeah. owner. But it's still showing. Yeah. And here's Coach Belichick. Plays Picard. Mr. Heisman and Robin McDonald. That was next to the show. Uh, yeah. He, he, he is classic. Yeah. There is I Mayhem and Rodney Dick for Joanne Dow, your Walk Horse State Class Champion. Tell you what, Rodney had that horse's number, but yeah. he had him fine tuned. I remember when he come in up at Columbia the year he won it, mm -hmm. when he come through the gate up there. Yeah. You can see the way he was going. You say, hey, he, he's oh, got yeah, it. He, he's got it right he now. Him. And he went on to win it. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready for uh, the fast, the fall showcase. Yes. That's right, the fall showcase. But I believe fast has a lot with putting that on. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to the United Show in Tunica, Mississippi. I still want to remind everybody, call Sarah Smith. Tell her you want some chances on that bundle. Of stuff. I mean, that's, oh, yeah. that's a big I'm going to give a full report on next week on what all's in it. Because, yes. I mean, that thing is packed full of goodies. We can buy it and sell it off by sections. You, quarter, you, quarter sections. sections that's right. And make You're money. Right. you exactly <laughs> right. You know, that's that. a thought. <laughs> Maybe we need to buy some tickets, win it. And then auction it off a little at a time. Yeah. We we'll probably get our money back and then something. <laughs> you reckon? You about right. Well, we we can always try. You can try it. All right. We ready for the show this weekend? Yes, sir. I I'm am excited. Too. We'll see everybody again next week, right here on What a Horse. Will you be sure, here? Yes, I surely will. You sure? Yep. Okay. We're flying Just colors. checking. We're flying colors. Y'all yes, heard sir. that. <laughs> <laughs> Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, What a horse! I know they're talking about me, of course, and I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.